Uh, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 23 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. Alright, start off, let's copy this down. Okay, bring it up. And then... Select this one, on polygon mode, and select the top. Extrude it outward about... Uh, 2.8, okay, then hinge from edge, pick hinge, Oops. pick hinge, okay, uh, 90 and 9, alright, then go into the front view, zoom in on that, select the entire thing, using angle snap, Actually, you're going to have to turn angle snap off, but you're going to want to make it perfectly straight. And if it doesn't want to cooperate, just grab that edge loop. Um, loop. Okay, it's polygon. Select edges and select vertices, and just scale them. Like that. Alright, go into the polygon mode and extrude. Doesn't give me really any amount. Alright, now select all of these polygons, copy them to object. Alright, rotate this, uh, actually affect pivot only, send it to object. Then rotate 90 or er, 180 degrees. Front view, and just bring it up so that it's aligned. Okay. Perspective, and let's see. Just attach. Then select like those two bridge. Okay. Looks pretty good. Next, select uh, these polygons here. Copy them up. Clone to. I'm just going to clone to object. Mm. Select it. Make sure that you do effect pivot only, center to object. Okay. Bring it up a bit. Go into border. Cap. Polygon. And you can extrude that one. Like so. And scale it inward just a bit. Alright. Now select this and give it a smooth modifier. Auto smooth and just drag it to there, there, oops, and there. Alright, um, next let's build a cylinder using auto grid in about uh, actually, no, let's not do this part yet. Let's do a box using auto grid. Uh, actually, get this edge here, connect it, uh, segments one, slide it up about 82. Select this polygon and extrude. Okay. Hinge from edge, pick hinge, right about here, do 45 and 1, extrude it about uh, 2, then do a hinge from edge, pick hinge, pick bottom one, and extrude that another 2. Then you're going to want to grab all these inside edges here, so that one, that one, that one, connect to 
zero, bring the pinch out a bit to about 89. Select this polygon, this polygon, this one, this one. Extrude those. Apply on the local normal. Okay. And Um, grab those vertices. Okay, and try to grab them individually. Doesn't work. All right, let's do this manually then. Select these two. And just move this one over here, and this over here, move it down, and this down. Okay, go back into perspective and select this polygon and this polygon, delete that polygon and that polygon, and delete. Vertex, um, you're going to want to target weld, so of that one there, that one there, and on the other side, weld this one there, and this one there. There, now we have a nice little enclosure thing. Okay, and lastly, select all of the bottom polygons and bevel them. Okay. And next let's select these edges here. And these edges. And chamfer. about 0.18 All right, and then select this edge, connect make the pinch 0, give it 3 segments now grab all 3 of these vertices here and actually no, don't do that. Delete that. Uh, grab this polygon here, inset it a bit, extrude down just a bit, and give it a small inward bevel. Okay, uh, next let's get a cylinder, the auto grid, and build a cylinder about here. Okay, one height segment and 20 sides, with a height of about 0.5. Uh, convert to an editable poly, polygon, select here. Uh, inset um, about 0.26 and bevel it okay and inset again hinge from edge pick hinge pick bottom ish hinge 90 and 9 and uh, make sure it's straight, so go to the front view and just rotate it a bit Oops. rotate it that looks pretty good uh, alright, that's it for this part, I'll see you in part 24